the general overseer of Mount Zion Faith Global Liberation Ministries, Incorporated, aka by Fire by Fire, Newi Anambra State. Bishop Abraham Chris Ude has revealed that he saw God in a vision, looking very angry with the federal government for proscribing a non violent indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, and at the same time planning to negotiate with the dreaded killer armed headsmen. He therefore advised government to proscribe IPOP within three months from now declare the killer headsmen terrorists and clamp down on them or else the wrath of God will descend heavily on them. In his post, fasting and prayer message to the federal government for allegedly giving armed Fulani bandits free hands to operate in the country, thus engaging farmers and other Nigerians in incessant bloody clashes without being declared a terrorist group and consequently proscribed. Bishop Ude warned that God's wrath, if allowed to descend on Nigeria, would be so horrific. According to the cleric, it pains me that the federal government had continued to allow headsmen to be armed with dangerous weapons with which they attack, in, they attack innocent and unarmed citizens and still go scot free. Adding, it is ridiculous that government is unable to block the source of their arms and ammunition and yet declare these armed headsmen a terrorist group and be treated as such. Look at the way the Fulani headsmen terrorize the southern part of Nigeria including the Southeast, and their mission is to Islamize the country. We all know that, we all know that, but it won't work out. I assure them that the God of Ndibu and the God of Israel will strike all those who are behind that action. I will draw the hands of God and as it was in the days of Nebuchadnezzar, who was punished because of his atrocities, so shall it be again in our generation. The God of heaven has never changed and can never change. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob is still alive, and he will never allow them to Islamize this country as they have planned, the bishop declared. He berated some Igbo leaders who he said were busy taking trips to Abuja in pursuit of their aspiration for 2023 Nigerian president of Igbo extraction. While Fulani headsmen are killing, raping and maiming their people. He told the 2023 presidential aspirants in Igbo land that their efforts would be in futility or less they were ready to cede their lands for Fulani settlement. He declared as unfair that every choice position in government at the federal level was being occupied by the Fulanis, who he claimed were in minority in Nigeria, while people from the southeast had continued to suffer marginalization for many decades. He also berated the Ohaneze Ndigo for what he described as being inactive to Igbo protection against their common enemies. Even as he wondered why Ndigo Apex Social Cultural Organization had not deemed it fit to come up with a security arrangement that would stand the test of time. It is unfortunate that Ohaneze is showing more interest in politics than its sociocultural functions. I am not a member of the IPOB, but I must assure you that IPOB is doing the work of the Southeast Governors and Ohanese in terms of protection of Igbo land. 
The newly elected President General of Ohaneze Ndibo must prove his battle. Let the Igbo Apex Social Cultural Organization ensure that there is adequate security in Igbo land, while the governors continue in their sleep against the will of the people who gave them the mandate. Let them continue to chase rats while their house is burning, he proceeded. All right, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular situation and development? God is said to be angry with the federal government for prescribing IPOP and negotiating with armed headsmen, according to Bishop Udi. Guys, do you think this is true or do you think this is um, just one of those uh, sayings of bishops or clerics in the country as it were? Well, it remains to be seen. There are important issues that he touched which lots of people have also said or mentioned, which simply borders around the issue of negotiating with bandits and uh, dealing, sending armed security men on the IPOP members and Eastern Security Network members. It is sad and unfortunate that that is the situation of things. It is really, really unfortunate. But be that as it were, we keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold. Will the federal government deprescribe IPOP? We can't see. It remains to be seen. It has been said, or he said that he has given the federal government three months to deprescribe IPOP or else watch what will befall them. Well, it is what it is. We keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold on this particular issue and this particular news story as it were. Will the federal government eventually deprescribe IPOP? That is what lots of people have been calling for. And you cannot prescribe IPOB and you, are, you refuse to prescribe Fulani headsmen and bandits who are killing people in scores, kidnapping people and collecting ransom and uh, all what have you. Well, it is what it is. It is just the situation of things in the country today. There is no justice, there is no, um, there is no equity, and uh, things are being done with... The sole interest or purpose of pleasing the Fulani people. Be that as it were, we keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold on this particular news story as it is. What are your thoughts concerning this particular news? Please drop by at the comment section. Let's know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post news stories. Endeavor to share these news stories with your friends, family, relations, and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support. And I'll see you on the other news. Thank you and bye for now.